Namaste. Welcome back to Lilypod and our videos on balance, our lifestyle and how we can fluctuate in these times of maybe transformation. So today is new moon in Cancer. So I want to take this opportunity and share with you some rituals that we can do on new moon. It's a potent day for planting seeds. Similarly, if you're into gardening, new moon is a good day to plant seeds as well in our own cosmology, in our own environment, it's a good time to plant seeds. So I want to share with you some beautiful and simple rituals we can do a new moon and I will do the same for, new, uh, for full moon. And I, uh, very simple and, and all available to you within your, your reach at home. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create a sacred space. Sacred space means a, a little place where it's sacred to you, where you maybe have an altar, or it's your yoga space, your meditation space especially, and um, we want to basically ignite it a little bit more today. So the first thing you want to do is you want to sage it, as we call it, or you want to energetically clean it out. You may want to use some sage, this is sage from Ibiza, and I recommend you to use the, the plant from the local area where you live. Yes, there's some beautiful sage that comes from different parts of the world, but local to where you are is best. And shamanism, sage is best for cleaning, cleansing in the environment where you are or yourself or cleansing anything, crystals or what have you. And then you want to use Palo Santo, to ignite what is it that you want to manifest and I don't have with me but lastly you want to use Kopal for as a sac sacrifice as a as a ritualistic sacrifice or um, for setting that prayer so we want to do this bef before you you know once you're in the space before you sit down say to light a candle so I'm gonna do that now and while you light a candle, I mean, Ayurvedically or in the Vedic tradition, lighting a candle signifies many things, but more importantly, transformation as in acne fire. So we're gonna light your candle and also maybe you wanna set some photos or some uh, statues or of deities that you would like to, or that you, that you, that you have chosen. Because you, as a, as a yogi, it's a, it's a good idea to, to choose a deity on your path. So after creating the space and, and saging your space, you want to chant some mantra. So maybe some, uh, uh, maybe choose a mantra that's conducive to what is it that you want to have manifested, or maybe you have a mantra that you're already using. So japa mala using a japa as your seated beat. The next thing you want to do is you want to align yourself with what is it that you want to have manifested. So you want, you're gonna sit and visualize. So it's a little bit like a meditation. So you are going to sit and going to visualize what is it that you want to have manifested in your life. So if this is a, a, the new moon in the space between shortly after the full moon working or when the moon is waning, this is a good time for what you want to have, how you want to create space in your life to bring in what you want. And so basically, the, the more crystallized idea that you have about what you want to have manifested, the better. And similarly, and after visualizing what is it that you want crystal clear, you want to write it down. So what I suggest is you write it down in a, in a round circular piece of paper. Circular because the, everything is infinity. Everything in life, there's a beginning and an end, and then it comes back again. So what I suggest is you start in one edge of the, of the circular paper and you write your manifestation, your wishes in a spiral form, moving in towards the center. And then you want to have a crystal, you want to have a glass or bottle of water to put on top so that you can also charge your water and charge your crystal with, it, with, with this potent manifestation and what the dream of life you would like to have. And after, so after visualizing and writing it down, you want to meditate. So you want to spend a few moments, again, going back to visualizing and also surrendering and letting it go because it's really important to give, to give, to offer 
to the fire, let's say, what is it that you want to have manifested, but you also want to let it go. You don't want to get too wrapped up in the idea that you want, you want, you want, rather you want to let it go. And I also wanted to um, suggest that maybe some sound is important. So in the yoga tradition, in the Vedic tradition, sound is extremely important. So um, a little bell at the end of the beginning or at the end of your ritual, uh, three times also some sort of a beautiful sound. I don't think that I have, this one is working for me. This is a beautiful sound. This is actually a, a, it's a koshi uh, instrument. This is uh, for water, which is uh, cancer. It's, a, it's an astrological sign that is mainly water. So it's a feminine sound. So this helps to connect to the water within and without. And lastly, I just wanted to mention that the, the, the new moon is the first cycle and, uh, and, then, and within the, the whole range of the whole moon cycle. So it's a common type for female menstruation. And it's also, so if you're not with the new moon, it's okay, don't worry about it. But it's, it eventually you wanna, you wanna uh, somewhat invite that menstruation in the time in the new moon. And also is the time when the melatonin is the highest. The melatonin is this hormone that balances our circadian rhythms. So this is at its highest in uh, the moon. So I will leave you with that for now. If you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, please drop me a note. Have a beautiful new moon. Namaste.